All right. So uh, you're prepping for a project manager interview. Mm -hmm. Big day coming up. Yeah. And we're diving deep into some intel that could give you a real edge. Okay. We've got this awesome guide that flips the script on interview prep. Okay. It's not about answering questions. Right. It's about asking them. It's a subtle shift, but uh -huh. it's about taking control of the conversation. Okay. Think about it. Anyone can rehearse answers. Right. But asking smart questions shows you're engaged, you understand the field, uh -huh. and you're thinking strategically. Makes sense. Yeah. So this guide breaks down these power questions into three categories. Okay. And the first one is all about projecting confidence and understanding. Right. These are the questions that show you're not just a project manager in name. Mm -hmm. You've got the experience and insight to back it up. Exactly. It's about subtly showcasing your expertise yeah. without overtly bragging. Okay. For example, one of the questions they suggest is, What's the biggest challenge facing your projects right now? Ooh, I like that. Yeah. It's bold. It gets right to the heart of their current reality mm -hmm. and shows you're ready to jump into the trenches from day one. Right. And think about what it tells you. Okay. Their answer reveals their priorities, potential pain points. Yeah. Maybe even hints at their company culture. Oh, interesting. Are they struggling with hitting deadlines, managing scope creep? Mm -hmm. Dealing with difficult stakeholders. Yeah. You'll get a glimpse into their world. So it's like an intel gathering mission disguised as a polite question. Exactly. And speaking of scope creep, yeah. for those listening who might not be familiar, uh -huh. it's basically when a project's requirements keep expanding beyond the original plan. Right. It's a project manager's nightmare. Absolutely. Yeah. So by asking this question, you're not only showing that you understand a key project management challenge. Right. But you're also signaling that you're proactive and ready to tackle those tough situations head on. Okay, so you've asked this killer question. Mm -hmm. They've given you a sense of their biggest hurdles. Okay. What's next? Well, this is where you showcase how your experience aligns with their needs. Okay. You could say something like, yeah. that's really insightful, thanks for sharing. Uh huh. In my previous role, we tackled scope creep by implementing regular check-ins and a super tight skip management plan. Mm -hmm. We kept everyone on track and minimize those last minute surprises. Subtle yet effective. You're yeah. not just saying, I can handle this. Right. You're demonstrating that you've successfully dealt with similar situations before. Precisely now, another powerful question in this category oh, is, okay. how does your team measure project success? Ah, that's a good one. Yeah. Because success can mean different things to different organizations, right? You got it. For some, it might be all about speed and efficiency, uh -huh. while others might prioritize client satisfaction or innovation. And understanding their metrics shows you're not just focused on checking boxes. Yeah. You're invested in delivering value that aligns with their definition of success. Wow. This also gives you valuable insight into what they truly value. Okay. Are they data-driven, focusing on KPIs and hard numbers? Mm -hmm. Or are they more qualitative in their assessment, emphasizing team morale and client feedback? So how would you tailor your response to showcase that you're on the same page? You could adapt your answer based on their response. Okay. Let's say they emphasize speed as a key metric. Okay. You could say, yeah. I love that you prioritize efficiency. Uh -huh. In my previous role, we measured success by stakeholder satisfaction. Right. So I focused on clear communication and expectation setting. Okay. If speed is crucial here, I'd adapt my approach to optimize workflows and eliminate bottlenecks. That shows you're adaptable, you understand different success frameworks, mm -hmm. and you're already thinking about how to apply your skills in their specific context. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we've seen how these first two questions can really help you project confidence and understanding. Yeah. But there's another layer to these power questions, one that dives into the company culture itself. Okay. All right. So we've talked about showcasing your expertise and understanding. Right. But now let's get into the juicy stuff. Okay. The company culture. Because mm -hmm. let's face it, mm -hmm. you don't just want any project manager job. Right. You want one that's a good fit, right? Absolutely. It's about finding a place where you can thrive. Yeah. Where your work style and values align with the company. Okay. And these next questions are designed to peel back the layers. Yeah. And give you a glimpse behind the curtain. Okay. I'm intrigued. What's the first question that can unlock this cultural insight? This one focuses on teamwork. Okay. What's the team dynamic like 
when managing high pressure projects. Ooh, that's a smart one. Yeah. Because every project has its moments of stress, right? Absolutely. Tight deadlines, unexpected roadblocks, mm -hmm. those oh no moments where you need everyone to pull together. Exactly. And their answer will tell you a lot about how they support each other. Right. Communicate under pressure and whether they foster a collaborative or a more competitive environment. So it's not just about getting the job done. Right. It's about how they get it done. Exactly. And for someone like me who thrives in a supportive team environment, yeah. this question is gold. Right. You can listen for clues in their response. Okay. Do they mention open communication, shared responsibility, a sense of camaraderie? Uh-huh. Or do they hint at individual heroics and a more siloed approach? And once they've painted that picture of their team dynamics, how can you showcase that you'd be a valuable addition to that mix? You could build on their response by saying something like, "Yeah, that sounds like a really collaborative environment, uh -huh. which is something I thrive in. Right. In my previous role, we had rotating check-ins during crunch time to share updates and offer quick fixes. Okay. It kept us on track and fostered a real sense of teamwork. Subtle, but powerful. Yeah. You're not just saying, I'm a team player. You're giving a concrete example of how you've contributed to a positive team dynamic in the past. Exactly. Now, the next question delves into leadership styles. Okay. Which can make or break your experience at a company. Yeah. Can you describe the leadership style here? Oh, that's a big one. It is. Because different people thrive under different leadership approaches. Mm-hmm. Some need a more hands-on directive style, yeah. while others prefer autonomy and independence. It's all about finding the right match for your personality and work style. Right. Their answer will give you insights into how decisions are made, okay. how feedback is given, uh -huh. and the overall level of trust and empowerment within the team. So you're listening for clues about whether it's a top-down right. or a more collaborative leadership approach, whether they value initiative mm -hmm. or prefer things to be tightly controlled. And this is a chance for you to be upfront about what works best for you. Okay. If you thrive under a collaborative, hands-on leadership style. Yeah. You could say, I really appreciate open communication and a collaborative approach. Okay. In my last role, our leadership team was very involved, mm -hmm. which fostered a great sense of teamwork and allowed me to contribute effectively. That's a great way to signal what you're looking for. Right. Without directly saying, is your boss a micromanager? Yeah. It's about finding alignment. Precisely. Now we've covered questions that showcase your expertise. Right. And those that unveil company culture. Mm -hmm. But there's a final category of questions that are designed to make you truly stand out. Okay. All right. We've covered questions to show off your project management chops yeah. and ones to decode the company culture. Mm -hmm. What's this final category all about? This is where you shift from being a good candidate uh -huh to a great one. Okay. These questions are designed to make you stand out. Right. Showcasing your initiative and forward thinking. Mm -hmm. Think of it as leaving them with a lasting impression. Okay. Color me intrigued. Give me an example. One that really highlights this mm -hmm. is, what's the scope of authority for this role in decision making? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. It shows you're not just there to follow orders. Right. You're interested in understanding the level of responsibility and autonomy you'll have. Right. It implies that you're someone who's comfortable taking ownership, yeah. making judgment calls, uh -huh. and driving projects forward. Okay. It's a subtle way to demonstrate leadership qualities even before you've got the job. And for someone who's ambitious and wants to make a real impact, mm -hmm. this question is key. Yeah. So how do you tie your own experience into this? Let's say they explain that the role involves making decisions okay. about budget allocations and timelines right, you yeah. can respond with. Uh -huh. That's fantastic to hear. Okay. In my previous role, I had similar decision-making authority, mm -hmm. and I was able to optimize project outcomes yeah. by making strategic adjustments to resources and timelines. It's not bragging if it's backed up by concrete examples, right? Exactly. You're yeah. showcasing your past successes Yeah. while highlighting your comfort level with taking on that level of responsibility. Now, what's another question that can help you stand out in this final stage? This one is all about showing you're ready to hit the ground running. Okay. What does the first 90 days in this role look like? I love this question. Yeah. It shows you're already thinking about onboarding, wow. getting up to speed quickly, uh -huh. and making meaningful contributions early on. It also implies that you're organized proactive yeah. and have a plan for success. Right. And it gives them a chance 
to outline their expectations Mm -hmm. and priorities for the role. So it's a win-win. Yeah. You get valuable insights and they see that you're eager and prepared to make an impact. Precisely. And you can tailor your response to their answer. Okay. Let's say they mention that they have a structured 90-day plan. Mm Mm-hmm with specific goals and milestones, Mm -hmm. you could say. Yeah. That's great to know. Okay. I'm a big believer in having a clear roadmap for success. In my previous role, we used a similar 30, 60, 90 day plan, Mm -hmm. and it helped me prioritize tasks and achieve key goals right away. That's a perfect way to highlight your experience with structured onboarding. Yeah. While emphasizing your commitment to hitting those early milestones. Exactly. So we've covered a lot of ground here. Right. From showcasing your expertise to uncovering company culture and leaving a lasting impression. Yeah. But remember, these questions are just a starting point. Right. It's not about memorizing a script. Exactly. It's about using these as inspiration Mm -hmm. to craft your own insightful questions. Yeah. And remember, an interview is a two-way street. Absolutely. It's a chance for you to learn about them just as much as it's a chance for them to learn about you. Exactly. So be curious, ask thoughtful questions, Mm -hmm. and most importantly, be yourself. That's the key. So as we wrap up this deep dive, yeah, let me ask you this. Okay. What other insightful questions could you ask to truly determine mm. if this company and this role are the perfect fit for you? Yeah, think about what matters most to you in a workplace. Right. What kind of challenges excite you mm-hmm. and what you need to thrive. And don't be afraid to get creative. Exactly. The most memorable questions are often the ones that are tailored to the specific company and role. Mm-hmm. So do your research, think outside the box. Yes. And go into that interview with the confidence and curiosity to rock it. Absolutely. That's it for this deep dive into project manager interview questions. I hope this helps. Remember, the key is to be prepared, be yourself, and ask those insightful questions. Good luck out there.